Oh my goodness. Oh my Lord. I got to remain calm. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. How you doing this Tuesday evening? Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope your day is going and has gone the way you wanted it to. One that has brought you less stress and more positive things in your life. Positive feelings. I got a fly going around here. Um, I really hope that um, after, I, I just got to make it plain. I can't, I got to let a certain amount of time pass. But I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the MSG, Madison Square Garden, rally um, that your former president and maybe soon to be president um, has had put on display for everybody. So if you ever had any question, I don't care if you was other than Anglo-Saxon, if you really wanted to know how he felt, him and his croonies, especially that little dead-looking dude, um, the one that said uh, America is for Americans. And this is further letting y'all know that we should be uniting. It's, I'm going to tell you who the United States of America should be. We should be uniting. Now you got somebody that is definitely trying to tear you apart. You got somebody letting you know, further know what they think about you. And if there was ever, ever, ever any question, um, <laughs> that means you're a fool. Um, I heard Haitian Jack. No, not Haitian Jack. What's the little dude's name? The little black guy. Um, he said he don't care. What Donald Trump say about Haitians? He's still Kodak Black. He's still going to vote for him. Now, you know what, niggas? Nobody can afford y'all ignorance no more. We need to figure out a way to get a drop squad going up in here because a lot of y'all um, just need to be dealt with. I'm sorry. A lot of y'all need to be dealt with. And if you if if you was back in my day, mm -mm -mm. Oh, God. all of y'all got y'all wake up call the other day, and I'm very very disappointed um, in most of y'all that ain't had enough. You didn't get your belly full full of Trump's nonsense. But let's 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 listen to his. Uh, no, not him. Um, shit, I don't think I could say it better than um, Thomas the Villain. And that's one of my buddies. He had a Halloween party last night. We had fun. We carved watermelons together. Hey, Black Maga. That's your man, right? Right? That's... Listening to that's worth them stimmy checks, right? Right? I mean, it's only a joke about carving fucking watermelons. That's your man? That's your man right there, right? Donald Trump's not racist. At a Trump rally, he made that joke about a black person at a Trump, Trump rally. It's not like MAGA on MAGA violence to me. But that's 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 worth thirty six hundred dollars right there, right? That that's worth your dignity. That's why you want. That's what they paid. That's what they paid. Thirty six hundred dollars. A Trump back. So shit like that is just normalized. Hmm. You need that, right? 
Was that dead MAGA dude, the black MAGA dude that died? Where is he at? I ain't making fun of him. Motherfucker's dead, so it is what it is. But that's your man. He's one of the good. He, 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 he's at a crowd where y'all at, right? Carving watermelons? Let me guess. That's not enough for y'all, right? Y'all need to know what the context was. A white comedian at a MAGA rally. Pointing at a black man that's also at a MAGA rally. Any more context you need? Do you, do you need me to break it down to you and buy molecules? Is that what you need? Hmm? That's your man, right? That having the guy in the White House that would bring that motherfucker on the stage is worth $3,600 in your fucking dignity, all right? All right? All right? Same guy, same guy, made a joke about a floating thing of trash and calling it Puerto Rico. Hey, where, where my Puerto Ricans for Trump at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? The guy that brought him on the fucking stage wants your support. The things were better underneath him, right? See, this is why we can't afford y'all no more. This is why. Because you sell out to so see some shit like that and be perfectly okay with it. And if you're perfectly okay with that, we're not okay with you. We can't afford you no more. Oh, there used to be a time when we would see you skinning, grinning, tap dancing, yazabowsing, and we wouldn't do nothing. Folks liked you. You were good. Don't Sell that kind of niggas. <laughs> when they needed somebody to call one of the good ones, one of the tap dancing ones, they paraded you. Remind them of the good old days. Not no more. The day of the sellout is, on, is done, son. And y'all done with it. And anybody that would try to justify that, that holds on to this melanin, the black race don't want you around no more. So just stay over there. And if you get offended, ask Rob Smith what he did when he got offended. He just begged for more. We can't afford you anymore. To the Latino Trump supporters on here, how much proof do you need to see to realize these people don't like you? How much you, do you need to see to realize that these MAGA Trump supporters, white, really don't like you and really what they think of you? Now, I know a lot of y'all are Republican, conservative. I have a lot of conservatives in my family. And I know Latinos, a lot of are conservatives because, you know, they're against abortion and stuff, which I understand 100%. But do you really think that these people like you are on your side? You're fat and mistaken. These MAGA Republicans are not the same Republicans you think you follow. This is not George Bush or Dick Cheney. This is a total different group of Republicans. This is a racist, bigoted, wannabe white supremacist group of Republicans. Now, I'm not saying all these Trump supporters are racist, but I'm going to tell you a whole lot of hell of a lot of them are. I am. You're not white. You follow Trump, you're like a racist. For Trump. You're not white. It Quit acting like you are. I know a lot of y'all want to be white. You want to be accepted that you're white. But you're not white. A lot of you have... Let me make it be known. No matter who you vote for, in my opinion, if you if you silly enough to vote for Donald Trump, then you're a self-hating individual you are sad you are um greener pastures beyond our gaze Stephen Fletcher Uncle Remus all rolled into one a gumbo Ty, you can use some of y'all can't even speak English right and you're that supporting Trump and don't tell me a lot of y'all have ties down south of the border we all do I was born in the United States. My mom was born in the United States. But my grandma wasn't. That's right, my grandma wasn't. She was born in Mexico. When they talk about 
Latinos south of the border. They're still talking about you. Whether you're born here or not, they're talking about you. These people disrespect you right in your face. They spit right in your face and you sit there and you eat it all up and accept it. Donald Trump sits there and spits in your face and you eat it up. Shameful embarrassment. I never thought in my whole 50 plus years of life that I would ever see people of color, people of color, despite everything people of color have been through, would be siding on the side of white supremacy. Embarrassment. Walt's Harris, 2024. We're going to put an end to this madness and stupidity soon. Walt's Harris, 2024. I'm usually a calm person, but today has pissed me off. So, Black Trump supporters? Early voting is happening right now. This will be one of... Oh. Okay, Black Trump supporters, this is for you. This is for you, Black Trump supporters. Okay, give me one minute. Shall we continue? Shall we continue? Let's go. Trump supporters and Mexican Trump supporters, today at the Trump rally, they just told you how they feel about y'all motherfucking ass. <laughs> one guy say, Puerto Rico was just floating trash. Then he say Latinos can't never keep their legs open. Then he say all black people do is just eat watermelon. They telling y'all who they is and y'all still supporting them? I am fucking tired of standing up for y'all when y'all ain't standing up for y'all self. This is ridiculous, man. The hate that's coming out of the Madison Square Garden today, she'll wake up y'all mind. They do not care about y'all. Do y'all understand that? It's no policy, no nothing that can, that y'all need, that y'all could let these people just spit on y'all like this and y'all still follow this shit, man. This is crazy, man. This the worst fucking rally I ever seen in my life. What is it that y'all want from Trump, Mr. Black people, Mr. Latino people, Mr. Mexican people who vote for him? What do y'all want from him? They already telling y'all y'all ain't shit. But it seems like y'all just don't care. It's like y'all don't hear this shit. But I'm fucking tired of standing up for y'all. Well, y'all not standing up for y'all motherfucker self, man. Can't no policy be that good for y'all. Where the motherfucker is on stage talking crazy about y'all. Telling y'all y'all ain't shit. And y'all still falling for this, man. Wake the fuck up. Y'all can't be this stupid, man. Y'all can't, man. He on stage calling real American garbage. I'm starting to think that y'all the ones that's garbage, that's following this garbage shit. When have y'all became friends with white supremacists? When have y'all marched with torches and hoodies over y'all here? When? I mean, if any Latino, Mexican, or black person vote for Trump after what just happened at that Madison Square Garden, then y'all just fucking, y'all fucking garbage, man. Because it's sick to me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, like, standing up for y'all and trying to get y'all information about these people, how they feel about y'all, and y'all just, like, brush me off like I ain't shit. If Trump win, y'all gonna deserve every fucking thing that y'all deserve, man. This is madness, man. I can't believe y'all still supporting this shit. Y'all supporting them. They just told y'all today on stage who they are. Latinos can't never can't never keep their legs open. That's what that's what the white man said. 
Black people are always eating wild in the middle. That's what the white man said. Puerto Rican is a fucking floating trash country. That's what the white man said. And y'all gonna go in the fucking booth and vote for these motherfuckers that's running with this motherfucker. You know what motherfucker I'm talking about? Trump. This is sad, man. This is a sad day in America, man. When you get all these white people in the big old arena and they just talk bad about America, just talk down about America. And you black man, a black man is falling. This a black man is falling in this shit. All the hate towards us we got through, throughout the years and, and they falling in this shit. This can't be real, man. This can't be real, man. And I'm tired, man. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I'm not. You know what? If y'all gonna go vote for this garbage, man, then y'all garbage too, man. So I'm tired of trying to inform y'all. These people don't like y'all, but y'all just don't care, I see. But, man, today's rally, that was a big old hate rally towards the rest of America, man. And y'all fucking falling. White supremacists. Latinos for Trump. Blacks for Trump, Mexican for Trump, Puerto Ricans for Trump. It's following white supremacists that hate y'all. Fuck. This is for all those MAGA Puerto Ricans that are sellouts. I can't believe that you motherfuckers are gonna vote for that piece of shit. You're putting down your mother, your daughters, your sisters, your aunts, your grandma. You motherfucker, Nikki Jam. Lord you Jamar. my favorite, my favorite. As old as I am, Lord I still was jamming to your music. Now you could kiss my fucking ass. You lost a fan, which of course maybe it don't mean shit to you. But you know what? You're a fucking piece of shit. You left Puerto Rico, all right, and made yourself in another country, lived out there forever, and you're going to come think that you're going to speak for the Puerto Rican people? You fucking piece of shit. You ain't no fucking Puerto Rican by heart. You might have some blood in you, but that shit is real weak. Because in order for you to be a true Puerto Rican, man, you got to be the corazón pendejo, huele pega. You and, and that other motherfucker that, 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 that's no good for shit either. Any of you motherfucking Puerto Ricans that are voting for Trump. You see, because it's not about a Republican thing. I always encourage clients no matter oh, what. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, you could be a Republican and be decent. But to be in that MAGA cult, you motherfucker, man. I tell you, man, ustedes no sirven pa' un carajo. Y mira, el pendejo ese Nicky Jam, el pendejo ese lo llamó. Nicky, I'm half for you. <laughs> Se lo metió sin vaselina, Nicky. <laughs> Listen, I am so upset. And, and you know what? I am freaking a diehard Democrat. I'm, I'm 100 all the way. I don't give a shit. You know why? Listen. Even my son, I have, I have four kids, and out of four of them, one is a piece of shit like Nicky Jam. Yeah, he, he's also rooting for Donald Trump. My own son, fuck him and the flight he came in. That's right. You know what? These fucking motherfuckers, all these Puerto Ricans, right, that, that are voting for Trump, you know, that are against, you know, for uh, us Democrats, they say that we... We want handouts and that we live off the system and all that. Yeah, but when you need help and you need services, hmm, you're going to want to be a Democrat. That's for sure. Listen, I am so heated right now with this Nikki Jam or whatever the fuck his name is now. Oh, my God. It's una vergüenza. It's just a shame that any Latino... Okay. Any immigrant Any black person. that's going to vote for this motherfucker. Oh, my God. I mean, I know I'm getting upset for nothing because uh, we are winners already. We got this shit. 
Trump is going to go fuck himself. That's where he's going. Oh, listen. You need to vote blue. Because that ain't even about parties anymore. Uh-uh. It's about freedom. Right. Really. If we let this fucking man... He ain't even a man. He's a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Uh, win? Forget about it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We're going to go to war. We're going to... Forget it. This country is a shithole already because of him. <laughs> you know, we got to get it back. You know, we can't go back. It's so true. We have to... Um, we have to really, man, we really have to do this. So, no se duel, man, you know? Stay woke. You know, because these guys... I mean, really, these guys, they got, they got two or three fans left because their music is shit already. You know, there's, there's, there's better artists than them. Um, yeah, they must be, they must have, you know what? They should go in and investigate. This is what they, that's, that's what you guys got to do. The ones that know how to work the internet real good and all that. Go investigate how much money they got paid. Because these motherfuckers, I can't believe them being Puerto Ricans that they're gonna sell out their country. I, I don't, I don't believe that that, that, you know, because money, 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 hungry, money, hungry. When it's about money, man, you sell your mother. So they should investigate how much money they paid him because you know Trump, you know he's a con, he's a sneak, he's a dirtbag. You know everything is about money. You know you pay those those well pegas a, a million dollars, they're gonna take it. They're going to take it, man, because they ain't doing well in the charts, you know? So they're going to take the money, but they should investigate and shout them out. You know, bring receipts that they sell out for real, for money. They, they sold their own people out. It's amazing. Mm-mm. The only thing the only thing that I can say, honestly, that they doing all that, and, 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 and I, they do, all, all three of them have been arrested. And have probably done time that they can't even vote. Trump can't even vote. <laughs> they, they, they can't even vote for, for, for Trump and they're gonna and they're gonna talk for him. Do you believe that shit? Nah man, you gotta get with it. Find out. Find out where uh, who signed that check for those three motherfuckers. And I'm sorry that I'm cursing. I know that I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it's not spiritual. But fuck what you heard. <laughs> they ain't no good. They ain't no good. I am, like, so disappointed in these people, man. I tell you, they are not Puerto Ricans at heart. Puerto Ricans are proud people, man. They stand up for something. These Pegas, they stand up for nothing. They just, they're all about money. So, you know, don't, um, don't down all Puerto Ricans because we're not with Trump. Anyhow, later. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I've been asked my opinions about this. First, I'm a stand-up comedian of 13 years, and I make fun of everyone. Disclaimer. I make fun of everybody. I'll talk about white people, black people, Latinos, Middle Eastern people. I make fun of everyone nobody is off limits that being said i believe there's an art to talking about touchy subjects without offending people i think there's an art to that so when i make a joke about white people white people will laugh or make fun do you know what's really in that bottle of extra it's interesting though they ain't say white people they ain't say nothing about white people you notice that it was all of us so they actually think America is for white people only. And it's very uh, good that we address this. No matter that the, the native was here first, no matter that uh, we were here and we supersede them by thousands of years, they actually believe that if they asses own America. And America's for them, not the caves of Europe. They ain't trying to go back in them caves. 
they are trying to say that America, because that group of white people belong in the caves. Those are Neanderthals, um, Cro-Magnum motherfuckers. They belong in the cave. But how dare them? How dare them think that that's acceptable? Uh, incredible. Incredible. I'm sorry. It made me think about Lord uh, Jamar. And yeah, I'm on him. He's supposed to be so conscious. And then said he might just vote for Trump. Then he said he got beautiful Puerto Ricans in his family. I know you're not Adolf's. But at the end of the day, would you recommend that your young brothers or your young sons be this kind of shuffling boot licking Negro? This what you co-sign? Bam, bada, all of y'all. All of y'all. It, it's not even a matter of Republican or Democrat for, and for me at this point. My point is, would you actually have somebody that openly do this to everybody except white people and you good with that? Boy, you talk about the self-hatred is deep. Self hatred is deep. Okay, let's continue. The goal, the goal isn't to offend people; it's to make everyone laugh, even if you're the brunt of the joke. But as far as what Tony Hinchcliffe did, that was straight trash. That was garbage. That wasn't even good comedy. Not even close. That was open mic shit. That's the best they got. Now I don't know Tony, and I've never worked with him, but I have friends who have, and I know he's been known as a shitty person even before this. I know he's stolen jokes from a friend of mine, and he even stole a joke from his friend after he passed away. So the dude is a joke thief, very fitting for someone who spoke at a MAGA rally. <laughs> the goal of comedy is to make everyone in the room laugh, and he barely made them laugh in a room with a full lineup of racists, with a lot of racists in the crowd. He told racist jokes. And that's not the only one. He told a few of them. What about watermelon and everything, some other really shitty jokes, really racist jokes? And they weren't even funny, and they barely laughed. Imagine not making a room full of racists laugh doing racist jokes. That means you suck as a comic. I mean, that's what you get when you have no talent on your entire side. I mean, what comics do they have? Roseanne sucks. And Deuce Bigelow, Rob Schneider, he's complete trash. I mean, there's no one with talent on the entire side. So this is the best that they have. I mean, not only do you need to know the audience, you need to know the situation. He failed. This was a big fail. But you know what's even bigger than this? How inept the Trump administration is. This was, this was the dumbest idea. This is dumb. This is how disorganized and how fucking stupid they are. I mean, think about this. Election is in a week. And he's in New York, a state he has no shot of winning. He's wasting his time there. There is absolutely nothing to gain and everything to lose. That's like going up to the roulette wheel with half your cash putting half on red and half on black. You can't win, but if green shows, you're going to lose everything. He had nothing to gain. This is fucking stupid. Another stupid thing by the Trump administration. And when you hire someone for something this big, you need to know what they're going to do. I want to see the fucking script. Show me the script. Show me your jokes. I'm not going to let you end my career. And I said the same thing about Eminem because he's been known to say offensive things. So they had to get assurance from him that he was going to say the right thing. When he spoke out the other day for Obama. You have. Okay. Uh, I want to know how I think I'm bad on time. What y'all think about this? And what y'all think about the comments. That was left. Be sports and leave a comment. Behind the video. We got five. What is it? Um, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got six days. Six days to election. And it seems like the Republicans are just trying to piss people off. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Like you trying to lose. But at the end of the day, 
again, it's clear, no matter what your affiliation, what party, forget about everything in terms of my Republican or my Democratic belief. Do you actually mean to tell me this is this is it for you? This is what you want? This is what you want. You don't got a problem with this? All right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. The video went a little long, but I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.